Hello everyone, welcome to Flavors of My Roots. Today I'll be making bala baiana. It's also known as bala de vidro, which means glass candy. I got two coconuts, dry coconuts. One of the eye of the dry coconut, it's really soft. So find the soft part and then you just kind of, you're going to remove the water from the inside. Okay, just like that. Now that the coconuts are empty, I'm going to put this on top of the stove over the flame for about uh, two minutes on each side. Let's start. Turn the flame on, grab the coconut, and put on top just like this. I'll be using a hammer, and I'm hoping that this Coconut comes out intact. Okay, peel the coconut. I usually take a knife, a butter knife, and start like this. Makes it so much easier. Now, let's wash the coconuts. You don't have to buy a fresh coconut. You can buy the already shredded coconut at the store. Let's shred the coconut. Let's make the brigadeiro mixture. This is like I'm gonna make a coconut brigadeiro for this candy. Brigadeiro is a Brazilian dessert. It's like um, basically like chocolate ball. The original one is you make with chocolate, but we can make with a lot of flavors. You can, it's, it's usually condensed milk, you can make with a coconut, you can make with strawberries, you can make with a lot of things. One can of condensed milk. One and a half cups of shredded coconut. Two tablespoons of butter. One egg yolk. We are going to cook this for about 15 minutes. I like to add one stick of cinnamon. Don't stop mixing it, okay? You don't want this to uh, stick to the bottom of your pan. So when you see that starting to form like a paste, it's almost done. Pour this into like a plate like this where you can spread to cool down. Let's put this in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. Let's make the caramel. Two cups of sugar, two tablespoons of white vinegar, one cup of water. Let's turn the flame on medium. At this point, do not stir the sugar. This is gonna take about 10 minutes. I want like a golden brown color. Let's make the coconut brigadeiro into little balls. Half of the teaspoon like this. Like this. I'm gonna add some butter because it's starting to stick into my hands. So one way of telling if it's ready, it's when you get like a little cup or bowl of water and you drop some of the caramel like this. You see? When it hits the bottom, it forms little rocks. So delicious.